Hi there, and welcome to another edition of Tuesdays with Corey. We are here outside, outside, enjoying the beautiful, hazy Seattle Haze. weather. Yeah. It is, uh, it is, and the reason why we did this is because Azure Container Instances are on fire. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Can we get someone who's going to laugh at my jokes uh, for the next episode, please? Because <laughs> this is really. Anyway, so hazy outside, but we are enjoying the beautiful sun mm -hmm. here on this uh, on this day. Yep. Uh, Tuesday. 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 <laughs> With Corey. With Corey. Here we are, and we are going to show the second round yeah. of Azure Container Azure Container Instances, and this is the ACI connector for Kubernetes. So yeah. Tell me a little bit what we've done. This is here. What we promised everyone last we promised week. Promised everyone last week, and, and we are living up to this. Waiting with bated breath. That's right. That's right. Um, so yeah, what we talked about last week is that Azure Container Instances are an easy way to deploy containers in Azure without any VMs um, that you have, yes. to, to, you have to provision and manage. Within right? seconds. Yep. Um, but when we were designing the product, we thought, hey, this, you know, people, I think people are going to really like this. Yes, um, as they the, have. And, and the feedback has been great. Um, but probably they're going to like it so much that they're going to want to build larger applications sure. on top of it and have you know applications that have multiple containers that need sure. to talk to each other, which sure. they want to scale and do rolling upgrades, right. all the kind of all stuff. All kinds of yeah, application goo. Exactly. Yeah. Um, but we didn't want to build another orchestration API. Right, There's right, lots right. of great orchestration platforms out there. Out there. Yes. Um, and we didn't want to build another proprietary one. We didn't of think course. that that'd be cool. Yeah. yeah. Um, so what we did instead is we're experimenting with what we're calling connectors, um, which are basically these sort of bridges between orchestration platforms sure. and ACI underneath. So it allows you to take advantage of sort of the capabilities of those open source platforms, like Kubernetes in this case, yep. right? Like take advantage of that, build build to that. So yep. basically, you're going to develop your application to use uh, the Kubernetes API, you know, use Kube Control, uh, uh, and be able to to uh, launch that way, um, uh, but also get the benefit of that of sort of that advanced underlying platform, really fast containers, so on and so forth. So kind of like that that split. Is yeah. that is that the right way to think about yeah, it? Yeah, because if you think about basically what the these orchestration platforms do, they do scheduling of containers, yep. but then they do a bunch of other things yep. on top, right? Enable scaling and rolling right. upgrades and all that sort of thing. And so basically what, what we're doing with ACI is rather than you only being able to schedule containers through those APIs on top of yeah. VMs yes. that you own, yes. using ACI as sort of a virtual VM or okay. vir you know, virtual platform. A virtual, virtual cool, virtual node sort of thing. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, let's, can we can we, can we we go to the video tape? Let's I, take a look. I, I suppose All right, could. here we yeah. go. Um, so first of all, here's the, the GitHub project. So this is, we're going to do all this development out in the open. Yes. Um, it's uh, at this point very much experimental, but we'd love to have people kind of come and, and work on and contribute with us. Sure. Um, we've already had some external contributions, which is great. Um, and so basically how this looks is if I go over here to um, Cube Control, I'll pull in. So Cube Control is, of course, the, the CLI for Kubernetes. For Kubernetes, yes. Um, and say kube control get nodes. Okay. And this is a, um, a standard a, a Kubernetes cluster that I've spun up with Azure totally. Container Service. Yes. Right. Um, and so it's kind of the bare bones configuration. I've got a single master node and then three three, three agent agents. nodes. Yep. Right. Yep. So those are VMs that are running inside my subscription. I got you. And so uh, normally you just deploy to those, and they would start taking up space. And sooner or later, the fill, you have to add more nodes and so on. Got yeah, it. Okay. Exactly. Um, so what I want to do in this case is uh, add the ACI connector in here so that I can then schedule sure. um, schedule some some pods onto sure. there, right? Um, so I'll do kube control create and pass in um, this ACI connector. The YAML. Yep. YAML. Got it. Um, and actually, let's just take a quick look at what that looks like over here. Um, so it's basically just a, a Kubernetes deployment that's got a, um, a Docker image here. Um, this is the ACI connector uh, Kubernetes yes, uh, that we've that we've posted up on on Docker Hub. Okay. Um, and what that does is go ahead and set up this virtual node for, I see. for the ACI connector. I see. So it basically creates a creates a, a node, uh, but then it, it, yeah, it, it's virtual, so it doesn't actually spin up as a VM. Yeah, exactly. So actually, we can just do this in here in the integrated uh, terminal inside VS Code. So now if I do get nodes, you'll see this ACI connector. There you go, connector ACI connector. Over here. 30 um, seconds old. 
Yep. Got it. Exactly. Um, and so now that's that's available. And so, so for it's ready to receive traffic. Yeah. So for people that are familiar with Kubernetes, basically what this is doing is it's acting like the kubelet. Um, so the kubelet is the agent that runs on each you know traditional Multi Kubernetes yeah, node. Uh, right. Um, but in this, multiple cloud providers and so on. Yeah. But yep. This is now acting in this as case that. it's acting as sort of a proxy in front of ACI. ACI. Cool. Um, so from Kubernetes perspective, it looks just like a node. Any other any other node. Um, but it can be uh, it can be scheduled. But now it's a node that will never fill up. That's right. Um, so I can now do kube control create because the cloud is infinite, infinite, elastically scalable. Uh, really zoom in on that <laughs> while he's typing this command. <laughs> okay, let's go back. Let's go back. Uh, so now I can uh, deploy nginx, uh, which is our you know, popular. And so this pod now engine. this pod specifically called out that it wanted to deploy. It would prefer yeah, ACI. Yeah, so there's there's a yeah. couple of different ways that um, you can schedule these things. So the one that I just scheduled actually explicitly, explicitly hard, says I'm only going to deploy in this. Please deploy me on ACI. Got it. Got it. But um, you could also do preference. The sort of other thing, way yeah. that you can do it is um, we're taking advantage of a Kubernetes feature um, known as Taints. Yes. Um, which is basically where you can identify a particular node as being somewhat somehow different right yep. it's not just like any other node yes, maybe yes, it yes. has some specific hardware or sure. it's, it's, there's something different about it um, and and pods can then and deployments can then identify that either they tolerate that uh, that taint or that I they see, don't I and see. so in this case you'll see the toleration here um, for this ACI. Uh, this ACI um, uh, taint and what that means is basically that this this deployment or this pod would say I'm okay being deployed on that, that kind of funky ACI, ACI connector. No problem. No problem. Yep. I, can, I can go on a regular VM node, or I could go on So this is kind of like a preference sort of thing, right? Like, yeah, if there's space, go. Yeah. Right. Yep. Okay, cool. Yep, exactly. And so at and this so point, this is great. we this should up and have, here. let's see, get pods. Um, and there it is, indeed, up and running. And if I it's go. It's at an Nginx1 at the bottom, yes? Yep. Um, and what this has done, um, we looked at last week how we can provision public IPs Seconds. for yep. uh, for containers as well. And so it's grabbed one of those public IPs uh, for this Nginx container. And so if I copy this and hop over into the browser here, paste that. There Boom. we got Nginx. Look at that. But being managed by Kubernetes. Kubernetes, wow. So that's super cool. So what you've shown us today, you've basically shown now ACI and the power of ACI, how fast it can deploy, no infrastructure management, no VMs at all, but with Kubernetes sitting on top and the full, actually the exact CLI that currently works Kubernetes running against it, launching this with some options of how you configure this in the YAML, either force it on there or prefer it yep. or, or okay with it, but maybe use the nodes first, just in case if you've got that space. That's right. So all those options are possible. And there's there's two ways that we kind of expect people will use this eventually. Yeah. One yeah. is we'd love to provide it as the quickest and cheapest way to get sure. started with sure. something like Kubernetes, right? Yeah. Where you could just have the Kubernetes API deploying, you know, a single container yeah, just through ACI, just play like with that. it for, for five, Snack. ten minutes, shut it down, and you're only paying for that. That period, you know, that period, totally. rather than setting up a bunch of VMs, the other one that's super interesting and more, maybe more interesting for sort of production deployments is to have your sort of default set of VMs that manages your stable kind of what you consider to be your default workload. Yes. But then you know you get posted on Hacker News or on Slashdot, and you get this massive spike, and you right. need additional capacity rather than spin up some additional VMs to schedule those containers on you top of it. Just immediately go to right, to and, ACI. and a combination of those things, right? You immediately exactly. go to ACI, and then the VMs catch up, and then you can move things over, yep. and you get the sort of the best cost, the best of both worlds. Indeed. Well, with that, thank you so much, Sean. Yeah. And so we have maybe one more show here that we want to go that we want to show people, which is Windows. Mm -hmm. Is that right? So we'll, hold on. We'll show you Windows next week. So with that, thank you so much, Sean. Thank you for, for listening and watching. Uh, if you've got questions or comments, let us know. It's hashtag Azure TWC. And we will be enjoying this beautiful sun and uh, the same clothes. Breathing this beautiful smoke. One week later <laughs> from now. And with that, thank you. Have a great Tuesday. Bye-bye. Rick, can you hear me? Yeah, I got you. Is it work? Is the sound working, Rick? <laughs> Screwing up my levels, buddy. Oh, am I? <laughs> what if I talk like this? Is this better? A little bit louder now. This is how I talk. This is how now. I'm gonna talk for the entire show. <laughs> 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 yes. This is how I get at the end of the day.